Welcome to ZRT Laboratory Side Notes. Today we're talking with Dr. Elise Schroeder, one of ZRT Laboratory's clinical consultants. She's going to discuss the difference between progesterone and progestin. Dr. Schroeder, can you tell us what progesterone is? Progesterone is a steroid hormone produced by the adrenal gland, the testes, and the ovary in women. It plays a role in the female menstrual cycle and in pregnancy, and it circulates throughout the body, binding to receptors in the brain, the cardiovascular system, breast tissue, and, and many more areas of the body. It's also a precursor to other important hormones like cortisol, aldosterone, testosterone, and estradiol. What are progestins? Progestins are a synthetic progesterone. They can bind to some of the progesterone receptors in the body, but not all. They were produced first in 1938 in hopes of finding a patentable drug that could work like progesterone in the body. And they're chemically similar to progesterone, but they're not identical. What is the difference between progesterone and progestins? Since progestins and progesterone are different molecules, they do have different effects on the body. As a general rule, synthetic progestins are more potent than bioidentical progesterone. They have a longer half-life, they have a, re a greater relative binding affinity, and they've been found to have a stronger effect on the endometrium at much lower doses than natural progesterone. Another difference between them is that progestins can also have androgenic qualities, like increased facial hair growth for women. And on the other hand, progesterone can be used as a treatment to reduce this symptom. And why is the difference important? It's a very common mistake among healthcare professionals to use the terms progesterone and progestins interchangeably. But this mistake can be deadly. We know that progestins can have an unfavorable effect on the cardiovascular system, while progesterone, on the other hand, can be used to treat and prevent cardiovascular disease. A great review of this topic can be found in a recent article by Hermsmeyer. Progesterone protects against estrogen-induced breast cancer. Uh, it's been seen in some current studies, and it's also outlined in a great book titled What Your Doctor May Not Tell You About Breast Cancer. That book was authored by Dr. John Lee, Dr. David Zava, and Virginia Hopkins. Synthetic progestins, when combined with estrogen, increase a woman's risk of breast cancer. And current evidence suggests that using progesterone is safer and more beneficial than using progesterones. And naturally, it makes sense that we might want to use a molecule that our own body makes rather than a synthetic one.